<laughs> well, that concludes zip test number two. <laughs> uh, well, fun, fun. What is up, guys? Today, I am bringing you the cheapest full suspension e-mountain bike you can get on Amazon right now. I have this bad boy. This is the BB Sport. Full suspension. You've got your rear. You've got your front. Boom. Full suspension. There you go. That's it. Boom. Video's over. Just kidding. So, let's go over some specs. Um, I'll show you like size comparison and, you know, maybe get a little ride footage and then we'll do final thoughts. Does that sound piece of cake? Let's go through this. Let's go through this. So, first I will go through all this stuff and then we'll give you a little panoramic zoom in. Here we go. So, you've got 350 watt hub motor. You've got disc brakes, front and back. What size are those, you ask? Well, here we go. Are they five inch? Are they six inch? Are they six and a half inch? Looks like we got six and a quarter inches. I don't know how many millimeters that is. Those are pretty big. <laughs> not that big. I mean, there's way bigger, but for the size of the bike, not bad. The bike says it weighs 67 pounds. I'm gonna say that's right. It's a metal frame, not aluminum. It's foldable, folds directly in half. The seat pops out. Um, let's see. Got three modes up here. Um, like I said, I'll zoom in closer. 21 speeds, uh, kickstand, and it's got um, mud guards. They're pretty, uh, well, it's the cheapest e bike on Amazon, right? Well, full suspension e bike. So, uh, mud guards leave a lot to be desired. I um, think that's it for specs. Oh, um, 10 amp hour battery, I believe. Um, 22 mile range is what they're claiming. Uh, 330 pound load capacity, also what they're claiming. I would not go 330 pounds on there with my buck 90. Um, hitting this suspension fork right here, or suspension fork, whatever, uh, just the suspension uh, shock. So they've got this old school design here. Let's come in close. Let's do the close up and we'll go through a little stuff. Let's do that. All right, so as you can see, they've got the old school design where the seat post comes right down here, right on top of the suspension shock. Um, yeah, so I've got it as far forward as it'll go, and you can see the damage on that bad boy. Uh, the shock is actually pretty good. I mean, it's squishy. It's a comfortable ride, you know, but like I said, you know, me being only a buck 90, this bad boy is a little bit beat up. And uh, see, the brakes are good. They're, they're mechanical. They're not, uh, um, you know, squish, oil, uh, hydraulic, nothing like that. You've got your controller right here, obviously. A bag with a battery on there. You see this bad boy. Um, the folding mechanism works pretty good. I can show you that if you want. Uh, nothing too special. It's not hard. The bike does weigh almost 70 pounds. Does have a headlight. Uh, how does the headlight work? I believe you hold the up button. Two, three, yeah. You hold the up button for like two seconds. On, off. Um, the shifter, let me show you this. You see that? This is for uh, your, your 21 speed. So it's not your back. It's not these guys over here. This is for those. So this is kind of touchy. I mean, get it set, then maybe put marks. Something like that. Otherwise, I don't mess with it. I just mess with the seven in the in the back. Um, size comparison wise, should we do a size comparison real quick? I guess we can do that. Uh, let me get a shot of me on it. I guess. Better turn her butt off here. I remember six foot one. Here we are. Here's the squish. So yeah. I mean, if you have the seat up to here, it's not really gonna bang it. But if you're shorter, I guess somebody had it low. So 
the, the lady. If you're short, you're not going to hit the shock. I'll tell you that. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. But, um, yeah, when the, when the thing protrudes, it hits the shock. When it doesn't, it doesn't hit the shock. Um, as far as comfort, it's good. Um, I don't like how far the brakes squish because they're mechanical, you know. But, you know, I mean, they're still disc brakes. So it's pretty decent for the size of it. This thing says uh, 20 mile an hour max speed. Um, it doesn't go 20 miles an hour. I've noticed I've only got up to 15. That's as fast as I can get this bad boy to go. I mean, unless I'm pedaling really hard while I'm going. Um, yeah, because like it'll throttle at 15, just sit there cruising at 15. 15 miles an hour, throttle only all day long on flat ground. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, if you're pedaling with it and you're going at it, you got it in a decent gear, it'll definitely probably get you 20. So if you want a slower e-bike, like a starter e-bike, this is perfect. As long as, you know, you don't weigh a whole lot. You know, it says that it can support 300. You know, I might go back on that claim just because I forgot. If you have this up high enough, then, yeah, you're not going to bottom the shock out. It doesn't look like. I don't know why it's so damaged up, but um, must have rode it low on there once or twice. <sighs> But, like, it's got good suspension. I mean, I like it's a comfortable ride, honestly. It's not the best, you know, for sure. But it is a comfortable ride, you know. You definitely don't need to get, like, a zoom seat post or anything. Maybe just, like, a comfortable saddle if you just want to cruise on it, you know. 15 miles an hour or get on it, you know. If, you, if you're, like, the type of person who wants an e-bike and you don't want a fast e-bike, you know. You don't want all that power, but you want it to be, like, 50% easier riding then this is definitely your go-to right here. You got your three modes, low, medium, and high. So, you know, if you max it all the way to the top um, and you're going up a pretty steep hill, I'd say like a 30% incline or something like that, you're, you're pedaling on, on the max, right, is what I'm talking about. I, I would say it's 50% easier to pedal up that hill. So, like, yeah, definitely alleviates pedaling uphill 50%. <clears throat> Because I, I don't remember exactly what wattage a person produces when they're pedaling. I don't know. You might have to look that up. I know I probably should have known that offhand. But I remember something like 800 watts, I think it was. So this is 350 watt. I don't know exactly what they're pushing to the battery exactly. But, you know, so it's pretty close to 50% of your pedaling power. And it, it is it feels zippy. So when you first get on it and you, and you gun it on high mode, you know, it, it's got a little zip to it. Especially on flat ground. It feels, you know. It's fun. 15 miles an hour isn't slow, that's for sure. I mean, most bike riders you see, you know, you'll probably pass if they're just pedaling, you know, unless they're on like a street bike, you know, hauling butt. But those people have been out doing it for a while, so, you know, they're, they're going. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I guess let's get some shots of uh, size comparison. So, where's my trusty tape? So, it's got 26 inch tires. And if you measure the tire to tire, it is definitely 26 inch tire. And then the Kepler 26 inch tire, you measure the tire, it is definitely like a 28 and a half inch tire. <laughs> so. There's two and a half inches taller right there, just in tube, well, tire, I guess. Um, and then as far as like to the seat post from the ground, we've got 29 and a half. And then on this little VV, we've got 27 and a half. <sighs> That's to the seat post. So the seat will sit two three inches higher how thick are seats usually the seats about five inches the seats about four inches so yeah you do the math on that um let's see oh tire to uh let's go stem tire to stem because you can adjust the handlebars to the stem we're gonna go to an angle here my bad we got 46 and then on this stem, we've got ah, get in there, get in there. 39, we'll go 39. 
Quarter inch, nobody's gonna care, right? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, let's uh let's watch me zip around a little bit, right? Get a little zippy, and yeah, be right back. All right. Get this going on, guys. <clears throat> Ah, sorry about the messy uh, driveway. Okay, uh, so we'll zip it at a low. All right. Now we'll zip it at high. Go straight to low to high. Boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. Squeaky break. Yeah. Boom. All right. Get some street shots, huh? Also doing this test to see if I can even hear myself while I'm uh, recording and writing at the same time. You have no idea how silly I feel right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go top speed here. Coming back around. Here we go. Top speed, baby. Booking it. <laughs> Squeaky brakes, eh? All right. She zippy. She definitely zippy. All right. Should we do the Kepler next? It's a real question. Anyways, uh, I'll turn the headlight on. <laughs> uh, well, fun, fun. Zip test number two with the Kepler. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's see how zippy this bad boy is. <coughs> In comparison. To the little VV. No pedal. Save it faster. I'm only up to 18, so that was faster than the other one. But let's do one more run and I'll get up to 30 and then uh, we'll show you guys how zippy it really is. Gotta get a little bit of a run at it. That'll do it. I'm up to 30 already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that concludes zip test number two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can pause. So all in all, I'm going to say that this bike is, it's a great bike, like for a kid or anybody who weighs, you know, 180 pounds, you know, who's, who's not, or, yeah, because like, if you're short, um, anybody under like 5'10 is probably perfect, or 5'10, I mean, I'm 6'1, so, you know, it just seems really small. <laughs> Yeah. So if you're shorter than me, then yeah, like like it's fun bike. It's fun. It's definitely fun. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Awesome bike. It's my review. Awesome bike. You get what you pay for, that's for sure. And then some. Like it's a decent bike. Alright, late peep.